last night I said to myself, hey self, don't you think the world needs another Twitter app for Android? And myself replied, hell no. But hey, C's mic is pretty popular on the desktop. Maybe they can do the same at, with an Android app. As you can see, the UI is pretty straightforward. You've got the four tabs here for replies, messages, and seeing profiles uh, of, your, your, of yourself. Here's my profile on Twitter, slash Andrew Cam, in case you wanted to follow. And you go to the timeline, and you see it has a pretty nice interface. It loads at decent speeds. It's not particularly slow or particularly fast that I've noticed so far. When you go through, you can long press, and you get your options for a reply, retweet, direct message, favorite, and share. Obviously, you're not seeing anything new that we haven't seen already in the other Android apps, but C's mic is pretty popular as they, this is the first version, as they add more stuff, maybe it will become more interesting. If you're one of the people who, for some reason, don't like Tweedroid, or don't like Swift, or one of the dozens of other apps that are out there, this is another option for you to check. You may love Google Calendar, but there's a good chance you don't love the widget that it puts on the Android home screen. As you can see, it li lists only one upcoming event, which really doesn't cut it for some people. So if that's not enough for you, you can get Android Agenda. This is an app that can take up the entire screen or can take up only half. It can also be set to display multiple calendars and it shows you an agenda view of your upcoming events. It shows the title, the time, and if location if you've entered it and when you click on an event it brings it up in the calendar to show you the additional notes the reminders it set you can also set it to edit if you choose now when you go home as you see I have my personal calendar and I also have the Android events calendar this can be set to refresh so when a, an appointment pass and I delete it it'll get rid of it on my home screen. You can set it to refresh every few minutes, every hours, or you can manually refresh when you press that button at the bottom. You can also add an event to your calendar directly from the widget. And you can set it to only display uh, certain things. Now, my only complaint about this is that it's not too customizable. For instance, I'd like to have bigger text, as it's kind of small as you can see. It's legible, but I still like it for it to be bigger. I'd also like to be able to change the transparency, so hopefully the developer will add that option to it. But for now, Android Agenda is a good option to have. It's a free app available in the Android market. Alright, when I reviewed Flyscreen for Androidica.com, I said it's a great app even though I don't really see the point of it and a lot of people commented oh you just don't get it this thing's amazing and I agree fly screen as an app is very good I just didn't think I or most people would need it and I'm starting to get what they were going for when I look at BuzzDeck which is a similar app that applies a similar approach basically BuzzDeck attracts all the information you're looking for and tries to centralize it into one place so you get widgets with feeds of things that interest you for instance you have technology uh, you can scroll through and you can find something you can take a look at it you can read it uh, if it's an RSS feed you'll see links to the original story you you can also slide slide left to right to go to the next story or if you close this widget right here you can slide to the next channel you can set stuff up for technology gadgets sports anything of that nature basically what you're trying to do is get information in one place unlike fly screen this doesn't try to tap into your your lock screen so it's an app that you just launch from the home screen it's basically uh, news and information source you can add Twitter LinkedIn Google or you can add a custom website uh, I'm gonna I loaded the mobile site for androidica.com right here and you can add cards for various sources or streams you have gaming music uh, beauty Facebook myspace the, the list goes on like I said for fly screen is you don't really need it but if you have it this is a very good app so judging strictly on the app I this is something that you're gonna find to be pretty cool and useful 
If you're someone that's always on the hunt for wallpapers and ringtones, then Zed might be a good app for you. That Z E D G E is basically uh, a place with about 5,000 wallpapers and 330,000 ringtones and SMS sounds. You can browse through the wallpaper section, it gives you a quick preview of what's available. If you see something you like, you click on the image, you can favorite it, or you can download it, and it tells you how much, how big it is. Most of these images are formatted specifically for the average Android phone, which is about 640 by 480. And you can also set it to the wallpaper directly from the app. Now when you go to ringtones, Now when you go to ringtones, you'll see a list of, of sounds. You can preview them by pressing the play button. And obviously these will all be compatible with your phone. And if I like a sound, I can do the same thing. Preview it and press download. You can also perform searches. So I'm going to perform one right now. go to ringtones and perform and listen to the first ringtone I always put whenever I get a new phone let me cut that off before Nintendo sues me basically Zedge is available in the Android market get quick access to wallpapers ringtones obviously you can do this from a website but if you just want to be able to browse through their library while you're sitting watching TV, Zedge is available if you so choose. Lastly, we have Mouth Off. Now, if you ever saw that My Touch commercial with the SNL folks and you're wondering what the hell is Molly Shannon using when she's talking, it's uh, a ported version of a popular iPhone app called Mouth Off. Basically, you choose a mouth, a cartoonish image and it speaks for you like when I talk right now you'll see that my microphone is picking up the sense of um, the sound and it the phone is talking for me basically this is pointless fun and if, if you got 59 uh, what is it called a squid or whatever the the, the smaller ver unit of pound is forgive me British folks I don't know it at the moment basically it's 99 cent US and 0.59 pounds uh, a British people. Uh, basically, I'm talking. One last thing I forgot to mention about Mouth Off. It takes up a lot of space. I'm talking 9.24 MB. If you've got a stock G1 or you've got a phone that gives you those low memory messages a lot because you have a limited amount of space, don't bother with this app because it takes up the space of one to maybe six or seven apps when you think the average Android app is probably about 1.2 MB. So if you've got a MyTouch or a Galaxy or a device that has a lot of space or you've got a rooted phone and space isn't an issue for you, uh, play around with this. But otherwise, don't even bother. Listen here, see? You're going to go to androinica.com. That's A-N-D-R-O-I-N-I-C-A.com. You're going to read Android news, see? You're also going to get tips, reviews, and feature stories. Androinica.com. Go there. Now, see?